Today I have two of the Samsung's new flagship, the Galaxy S3. Uh, Hardware-wise, we're now dealing with a HD Super AMOLED screen that's 1,280 by 720 pixels. It'll come in these two gorgeous colours. This is pebble blue on the left, and my personal favourite. And on the right you have marble white, which is a more of a glossy finish. We'll have a play with the uh, pebble blue one, as it is my favourite. Um, Hardware-wise, we've got Exynos's new quad-core processor, um, clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. Um, if you take a tour, you can see that Android 4.0 on the new phone is actually a little bit different to how we saw it on uh, the predecessor, the Galaxy S2. You now have a settings shortcut in this menu, and uh, generally there's a few minor additions like a uh, five app string on the bottom. We'll get into this a bit better on a dedicated software video. Uh, taking a tour of the rest of the hardware, uh, the phone is now very thin. Compared to the S2, there's now no chin whatsoever. In fact, the deepest part of the phone is actually the centre. Uh, on the left side, you'll have the uh, volume rocker. And as we tour around to the top, you'll get the uh, headphone socket and a little tab to access the back panel. It's a re removable battery here and a micro SD card slot. The phone itself takes a micro SIM. On this final edge, you just get the power uh, that also toggles the screen on and off standby. And at the base, you have a MHL compatible micro USB port. Uh, button wise, it's the return of the physical button. This is the global model, so it'll be interesting to see if it makes it across to the US. And two capacitive buttons are flanking it. Uh, they actually all but disappear when you turn them off. It's a very nice little touch. Um, but it's exactly like the Galaxy S2 with a menu button and a back button. Uh, if we whiz around, you can really see that Exynos processor really does its job well. Uh, if we open up the browser, you'll see, yeah, it's fast. And uh, pinch to zoom really kind of pops out at you when you're using it. And this is navigating uh, on Wi-Fi, of course. But obviously, depending on your data, you'll get similar speeds. Camera-wise, we've got a 1.9 megapixel camera on the front that's capable of uh, 720p video recording for some very sharp uh, video chats and uh, glossy pictures of yourself. On the back, the primary camera matches uh, a lot of Samsung's recent models with another 8 megapixel sensor capable of full HD video. Uh, the software, which is where Samsung's really concentrated, has now uh, been updated and strengthened a lot. So while it's the same sensor, we should be able to do a little bit more with it. On the left, you'll find the uh, flash, and on the right, the speaker grill. So that's just a, a mono stereo speaker there. Um, and the whole of the backing is covered in this new glossy plastic. The pebble finish has this kind of um, it's very nice uh, shimmer to it. And if we take uh, the back off, fingers crossed, you're able to see it has a very nice um, 2100 uh, milliamp battery um, with access there for a micro SD card and the micro SIM. Uh, the phones themselves will actually come with at least 16 gigabytes of flash up to a pretty intense 64 gigabyte option that's also set to come out.